Good afternoon and welcome to my daily chat. Yes, jamming one in early today because it's Christmas Day today. Happy Christmas. Merry Merry, as I so speak. Um, this is episode number 572. And because it's, ha it's Christmas time and a lot of people are doing the giving things, giving out and going to stuff, today's topic is it's time to give to yourself. Um, before I jump into that, let me introduce myself. If you've never seen my broadcast before, this is my introduction that I do every single time in case you haven't seen it before. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, and I help strong, successful, high-achieving women find balance and create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine, and every day for over two years now, I've done these talks called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. I should give you a quick adjustment, because this is number 572, which is less than two years if it was every day. But I've been doing every day now for about 550 of those, <laughs> just to be honest. So today's topic being Christmas Day, and again, Happy Christmas, uh, Merry Merry, as I was, I've been saying to my friends, um, wishing you well, hoping you're having a great time, and hi Jen, I see you in my broadcast, hope you're having fun today. Um, this is a little reminder, just a little nudge, because today's all about the presence and giving and all that sort of stuff, and there's a lot of frenetic energy about what things you're going to be doing. Um, personally, I'm going to be going, going up playing in about an hour, which I want to do my broadcast early, because I don't plan on doing any more Facebook Live after that. Um, Actually, at 5 p.m. we'll be in the middle of watching the second movie. So yeah, it's, it's the juvies today. So movies and burgers today is the plan. And I'll be doing that shortly. So I want to get this broadcast done to keep my daily commitment to you, to myself, and to anybody else who might find interest in my talks. And this is the thing, giving to ourselves. I mean, just as a simple example for myself, um, actually two. One today, one, yeah, two things I'll say. So one is today, um, you know, I've had this rule in my head. I should do this broadcast every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time just to be consistent for my audience. Well, I already see friends dropping jumping to this broadcast and it's only one o'clock. But I knew I had to take care of myself and want to give to myself by not putting the stress on when I should do this. So I thought, just do it now, get out of the way. Well, not so much get out of the way, but get it out of my head. <laughs> so I chose to do that. Now, last night, as another, uh, as an, other, an additional reason for this giving thing going on is, um, I was at Agape last night because we had a Christmas Eve service, which is always a wonderful celebration. Lots of friends, lots of hugs. But I watched, I say this in a nice way. I watched, the temp I watched my temptation to overgive, to be out there pushing and serving and make a difference because Agape is my one place where I really serve a lot, every Sunday, in fact. And so with having done Sunday the day before and the Christmas Eve last night, I sort of hit my, I didn't hit up an upper limit, but I hit an upper awareness, I'll put it that way. I had a resonance where I, th I realized for myself that I wanted to spend time serving but not overly giving where I would stress myself out. And this is why I'm using a little switch on this one. It's not about receiving, it's about giving. Because a lot of us are tempted to think about, well, I'll give and give and give as long as I make sure I receive on the other side. Well, I'm suggesting, <coughs> excuse me, I'm suggesting that we actually give to ourselves. As in we make our self-care a priority, our self-love a priority, and our ability to say no a priority as well. Good to see you, Huntley. Nice to see you, my broadcast, and good and Merry Christmas to you, sir. Um, and last night that happened. I was in a place where there was a lot of pulling of energy. Like I could see things I needed to fix and jump into because it was a little crazy last night in a very fun way. I mean, we had probably 1,500, 1,600 people at the church last night um, to celebrate Christmas Eve. You know, with lots of musical interludes and the kids running around, and it was it was a lot of fun to be honest. But at the same time, part of me that has this thing about fixing stuff. There was um, certain issues that showed up where I could have stepped in and been very invested in making things different. But frankly, I felt that was pulling away from where I wanted to be, which is taking care of myself and being of service and loving, but taking care of by giving to myself first. So my investment in that is a reminder for me to say to you, if especially today of Christmas Day, which is a big day of celebration and getting around doing things with your friends and family and playing and having fun, which I hope you're doing and having a good time, is take times to give to yourself as well. You know, it's a day where it can get very stress-filled, especially when there's responsibility with um, relatives and other people where you feel like you've got to keep giving or making a difference or stepping up or all that stuff. But the truth is that Christmas is a Christmas Christmas Day is a wonderful reminder that giving can also be turned inward. So that when you give to yourself, you give from a place of loving, you give from a place of self-care. You become more 
uh, able to play and dance and have fun with everybody else. Some people I saw, I saw last night, a couple of my friends were looking a bit stressed because they were so busy giving, 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 they forgot to put themselves in the picture of giving to themselves first. And it's a subtle thing. It's also a vital piece of how do we become effective in the world. And this is, this is really a reminder to myself too, so I'm saying this to me as well as to you, where I get into a place where I'm doing things for other people out of, out of um, ritual and almost out of duty, not even something that was asked to do, but I do it that way without realizing it. So it becomes sometimes, I would almost say sometimes the mundane things, but I feel myself in a place where my giving comes from <laughs> I was going to say the word petulance. That's not the word I want to use, though. But giving from a place that is um, less flow. It's more, it's more push and energetic, and it's not as easy. So this is a little reminder on Christmas Day. In fact, I would invite you to watch my broadcast. I posted last year's broadcast earlier today, which was about um, a different level of Christmas and a celebration. I also posted a favorite meme of mine that is actually undermining Christmas. You can watch that. look at that on my Facebook page, too. Oh, by the way, this is Facebook Live first in case you're watching on YouTube, so I'll tell you about that in a minute. It's an interesting day, Christmas Day, in so many levels, since really it's a made-up day. Yes, it was made up about less than 2,000 years ago, just so you know. Um, and some of the things about Christmas just cracked me up. And being a, being a Jew of origin, even though I'm not Jewish as, in a, as a practice, I definitely have a different perspective on Christmas than maybe a lot of people do. Um, which means I take it less seriously. <laughs> so, and that's why I'm doing the Jubies today. So I'm getting together with my friends um, in an hour or two, and we're gonna have, well, they're already gonna see one movie. I'm gonna be seeing the second and third movie with them, plus we've got plans for major burgers tonight. So we're gonna have fun. Um, and the, the agenda is like PJs and comfy clothing. So I'm gonna get dressed, up, dressed down into casual clothing tonight to have some fun and celebrate with my friends, and I hope you're gonna have some fun too. So this is really a, a simple reminder and I'm going to put a couple of links in the comments because that's my usual thing. One is my self-love practice because sometimes on, on Christmas it's challenging to remember to love yourself. So I'm going to put the link in the comments for the self-love practice that is my, um, I'll say it's a gift, but you have to pay for it. <laughs> but it's something I recommend highly if you've, if you got stuck in the area where you practice more loving for yourself. It's a simple practice. It's two guided meditations, audio tracks, and a workbook that I learned to love the results my clients are getting. So that's going to be in the comments. And also, questions, if you're questioned about love and relationships, I'll put a link to the discovery session in the comments as well. Um, really want to keep this simple. This is a day to celebrate. It is a wonderful day to play and have fun with friends. But truthfully, is why would we not do that every day of the year? That's the only thing about This is one of my pet peeves of a Christmas day. So much is invested in today about giving and, and serving and sharing and all sort of stuff. But why not every other day of the year? So with that poignant, poignant thought, I'm going to leave you to it. Um, I'm just going to do some other things because I've got to get ready. Um, but I want to give you that thought for the day. So I appreciate you watching and thank you for being with me as always. This is my daily broadcast on Facebook Live, usually 5 p.m. Pacific time, but it's been on and off this week because of the, the holiday schedule. Um, if you have any questions, comments, please reach out to me. You can put, comments in the, you can put questions and thoughts in the comments below. Send the right way around. Also, if you're on YouTube, and I'll give you the links in a moment, you can do the same thing there. This is my Facebook Live I do every day. Again, number 572. You can watch the replay on my business page. This is live on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. My business page is barryselby.author, so I appreciate you watching either one of those. Again, you can comment and respond there. It goes to my YouTube channel after that, which is my YouTube channel is Barry Selby, as is all my social media. And I do invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby again. And the playlist on that page is Messages from the Masculine, and you can watch all of my broadcasts going all the way back. That reminds me I've got to do something today. Um, and have enjoy, enjoy that as well. Thirdly, thirdly, um, I am also putting these out on my podcast, which is also called Messages from the Masculine on iTunes. Because you can subscribe to that as well. And download the audios from my earlier ones. I've not put a lot up yet, but I'm getting further and further into that list. That, I think, is it. I wish you a wonderful holiday season. Merry, merry, as I've been saying all the time. It's kind of fun to say that. Have a great Christmas day, and if you're English, enjoy Boxing Day tomorrow as well. It's a fun day to play as well, although in America they've got no clue what that means. And uh, I will see you again tomorrow. Take care of yourselves, and have a wonderful day. And, as always, be good to yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow.
Bye.